Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I will show you how to make a blood splash VFX pack using the Unity particle system. So let's get started. Start by creating a new particle system and rename it to blood underscore particle system. Okay, now we can reset its position to zero and zero. Or also set the rotation to zero. After that, inside the renderer, set the max particle size to three. Now we will need a light smoke texture for this effect. I have this one for reference. You can create it yourself or just find it on the internet. I will show you how to create it. So for that, let's head back to Photoshop and Create a new file, rename it to smoke and set the width and height to 500. Now set the color to black and use the paint brush tool and paint the background to black. Now set the color to white again and create a new layer. Use this brush and we will need a light one like this. Our brush is too small. Let's increase its size. Yeah. Set the opacity to 100. And randomly create brush strokes here and there. And that looks great. Now select the razor tool and make sure a soft brush is selected. After that, set the opacity to 50. And that's it. Randomly delete the fact and that's it now set the passage to 100 and make sure there is no effect on the sides or it will create sharp edges yeah, that looks good now set the opacity to 10 and try to erase it a little bit more somewhere here and there Set its opacity to 50. Now go to blending options. Right click and go to blending options. And here I will select out, outer glow. Let's decrease the size to size to one. Spread to five. And we can change the opacity to 100. That looks good. Now hide this black background and save this as a PNG file. Save as PNG. Now inside our Unity, drag and drop this smoke material. Set alpha is transparent and hit apply. And you can see this smoke. I think it is a bit too bright. Okay, we'll see it later on. Create a new material and rename it to smoke underscore matte and set the shader to legacy shader, particles, additive, drag and drop this slow smoke material, drag and drop this here and you can see smoke clouds. After that, Let's turn down it, its opacity to 50. That's better. After that, set the duration to one and start lifetime to 0 0.7. Start speed to zero and start size to random between two constants and the value will be one and two. Start rotation to random between two constants the value will be 0 and 360. We will select the color as red. Maybe something like this. Let's change the shader. I think we should select alpha blended. Yeah, that looks much better. Reduce the opacity. Go to emission 
and set the emission to 5. We will uncheck shape and inside color over lifetime we will add a new keyframe here and set this one to 0. Let's change the main camera to skybox so that we can see it clearly. Okay. Let's increase the color a little bit, opacity a little bit. That's better. Next is size over lifetime. We need a curve. And this curve will be like this. That's it. So that was the first step. Now we will create a new effect. And rename it to blood sparks reset its transform set its max particle size to 3 and for this we will need a texture like a point of light so we will go back to our photoshop editor hide this one select a brush like this create a new layer for working on that and increase your brush size maybe to like this set the opacity to 100 and this now inside the middle of the screen just click once and your point of light is ready hide the background and save it as a png now drag and drop this new texture into the unity editor Select this one, set alpha is transparency, hit apply and you can see it. Now duplicate your smoke material by pressing Ctrl plus D and rename it to light underscore matte. Drag and drop your point material into it and drop this light material onto the blood box. And it looks much better. Go to render and set the render mode to stretched billboard speed scale will stay zero and uh, length scale will stay two good after that set the duration to one start life to random between two constants 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 speed will also be random between two constants three and six start size will also be random between two constants and the value will be 0 0.02 and 0 0.05 and let's set the start color to something like maroon this looks better uh, I think the start size is a bit too small but we will see that later on set the simulation space to world emission to 40 and here the shape will be a sphere sphere and the inside sphere we, i think the radius will be 0 0.1 it will be a very small sphere after that check limit velocity over lifetime and uh, here the speed will be a curve and it will be a curve like this this one we need to set the dampen to 0 0.2 check force over lifetime here set the y value to minus 8 and uh, simulation space will be world increase the size a little bit from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 and here 0 0.1 no that's a bit too big 0 0.8 is good yeah that looks better now make it a child of a blurred particle system one thing is left and that is color over lifetime select this one add a keyframe here and set this one to zero and this looks much better now size over lifetime lifetime and our curve will be something like this add a keyframe here 
and this is our graph this looks good and that's it now we need our lost effect that is the basic basic blood effect so create a new effect and rename it to blood reset its transform set the max particle size to 3 and render to stretch billboard speed scale to 0 and length scale to 0 0.9 now for this we need a texture sheet i have one here and we will create one using this reference so this is how we will create our blood effect inside photoshop i will create a new layer and hide this older one turn on the black background and here let's drag and drop this effect to give us a reference so here it is resize it to fit the screen and bring it to the center yeah that looks good and we'll see how we can create this effect i am changing its opacity to just 20 so that we can see it will very less now create a new layer zoom inside okay now i will select a brush select a brush from here select some general hard brush resize it to very small maybe seven and hardness to 100 percent and now as the color is already selected to red we will start our painting so i have this image here for a reference and here I have new layer on which I will paint and this is a random paint. Okay, I will reduce the size of my uh, brush in each one. Okay, let's reduce the size to 5. Okay, with this two size brush, I'm going to add some random dots at random places on all of them. Okay, so we have this one at the bottom. So let's draw it with two size brush. Nothing much needed. Just Draw it roughly, hide the background and save it as a PNG. Drag and drop it into your Unity editor. Select this and alpha is transparency, hit apply. Now duplicate this light material by pressing Ctrl plus D. Rename it to blood underscore matte drag and drop your blood sheet and uh, set the shader to legacy shader particles and additive soft after that drag and drop this material to blood and i think additive soft is not the best choice for this one particles we will try all of them alpha blender is a better choice okay now we will set the duration to one looping will set true Start lifetime will be random between two constants and the value will be 0 0.4 and 0 0.5. Start speed will be minus 0 0.1. Start size will be 1.5. Rotation will be random between two constants 0 and 360. And for the color, we will select a light kind of maroonish color yeah that's it go to emission and set the value to 15 inside shape we will select sphere radius will be 0 0.05 okay and now select limit velocity over lifetime the value of speed will be 0 and dampen will be 0 0.15 then select color over lifetime this is how we'll do it we'll add two keyframes here and we'll set this one to zero now check size over lifetime 
and this is going to be the size at a keyframe here and hold it above after that check texture sheet animation as our sheet has three rows and three columns so it will be three by three okay now make it a child of a blood particle system now let's change the size to three and six and restart this and that's it i think i should re reduce the size of that smoke a little bit it's too big for me one and three will be enough and size of blood should be increased to two yeah that looks great so if you want to use this one as a reference make sure to take a screenshot of this one and use that one as a reference inside your photoshop or you can create your own or you can purchase on internet whatever feels the best to you i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel if you enjoyed this tutorial i will see you in a new video goodbye